How's it going, my people? This is your boy, Wired Up, and welcome to another episode of Wired Up TV. Hope you guys got your hands on the steering wheel and keeping your eyes on the road. Handle everything you guys got to handle, no matter what it is, my people. Don't get sidetracked or distracted. Get your money, get your money, and take care of your people. Now, with that being said, I want to bring up, I want to state the obvious, my people. You guys see, this is our second interview for the Wired Up TV family and the Wired Up TV team, of course, our second interview. Now, we are roaming around our options and uh, we have gotten more offers from different newspapers and television programmings and stuff like that um, because they know that our research And our stuff is real, okay? Um, the only real picture of Pac has been put out by us. And the world knows it. And these people know it. Now, uh, you know, they keep knocking on our door, wanting more interviews and stuff like that. Not these newspaper here necessarily, but other people. And, you know, we have to tell them to, you know, wait a, to just to wait a moment because... My partner, you know, the uh, connection that we got to the family and friends and stuff like that is cautious and really not ready to talk right now until that person is ready. Now, a, a lot of the family and friends of Pac act like that. They don't want to come right out and say it, that Tupac is alive or where he's at or they don't want the media and stuff like that to get a hold of that, get a taste of that, because they know they will not be left alone, okay, there will be media everywhere, they'll be on all the tabloids, TMZ, they'll be on all the YouTube channels, their friends will be hounding them and things like that, they don't want to be the ones that get Pac, I mean, like, what if he gets arrested, and what if, uh, what if, what if, you know what I'm saying, so they don't want to be a part of that, just like that, they want to wait till the time is right, okay? Or maybe get somebody else to bring the people what they want. Now, get this here. Uh, in my opinion, Pac ain't scared of nothing. He ain't scared of going to jail, and he ain't scared of people trying to kill him, all right? One thing is being scared, and another thing is, you know, is being smart. All right, a lot of people say, well... Pac, if Pac ran and Pac went into hiding, that means he was scared of jail. That means he was scared of this, scared of that. No, he wasn't scared of jail. He was already he had, he had already done time for something he didn't do. All right, and he was not gonna go back again. The government was trying to jip him, so he outsmarted him. That's a difference. All right, you can tell any hustler, any gangster, the hardest killer is darkest. SOB that there is in the hood. If he had a chance to skedaddle on prison time, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? So all that BS that people say that, well, he didn't, if he ran and stuff like that, I wouldn't respect him. It's just BS. Because that same person that's saying that, if they were facing time in jail away from their family and kids, they would do the same thing. Okay? So that can go out the window. Nobody knows what the next man will do. All right. But one thing I can assure you is that Tupac is alive. And we got the closest source to him. He is in Cuba. All right. And he's been there for years. Cuba is an unextraditable state. Even if the American government knew where he was. Or Pac called him and said, hey, I'm right here. Which I'm pretty sure the American government knows his whereabouts. Or if they don't know his exact whereabouts, or maybe around by where he's at. Alright, anyways, if, if the, the United States government knew, they still would not come and get him. Because they can't. Alright, there's no extradition treaty with America and Cuba. That's why his aunt has been there for years, has even done interviews with NBC, you know what I'm saying, on national world news, and they couldn't capture her, okay? 
So Pac made a decision and he was smart by this decision and he went to Cuba and he planned it out. Wired Up TV already proved to you how he found out that they were going to try to kill him. Okay. The lady in the note. Mutai even said it. You guys got to pay attention to his friends and family, man. They're trying to tell you guys and help you guys because they know a lot of us love Tupac, respect them, and want to know how he's doing. So they're trying to give us subtle hits and things of that nature. They're not going to come flat out and right out and tell us, okay, even though some of them do, like Stretch, and, you know, and stuff like that. I mean, like Stretch, uh, yeah, isn't his name Stretch from Naughty by Nature? Tretch, I believe. Yeah, there you go. Tretch. But not even that. Excuse me. He came right out and said it. But you don't know if he was drunk or whatever the case might be. Anyways, guys, that's the deal. All right? It's just common sense, guys. Common sense. He told you that the lady warned Pac. And he even sat down with the outlaws and tried to get a reaction. Trying to see what they were saying. Maybe giving them some hints. And said, what do you guys think about this? About this lady he had already read this letter before listen to the interview watch my videos the interviews right there and he reread it to them so they so he can see what they think he was testing the waters and, and at the same time trying to tell his homeboys in a subtle way that he was leaving so September 7th was the date he picked okay only Pac knows what that lady told him but my source says that he talked to the lady, connected with the lady, and it was very real. Stuff got real. And Pac planned his escape and tricked the government. The government didn't know, you know, for the first couple of weeks of, you know, after the fake murder. But then they caught on. All right. Just Pac made it confusing to give him enough time, you know, to get away. Guys, if you have any information, please send it to Wired Up TV for you. At gmail.com. Okay. Wired Up TV. Our second interview. And we're going for more guys. The world is starting to hear. Join the movement my people. This channel is for y'all. And y'all know it. Get a hold of us at Wired Up TV for you at gmail.com. This is your channel my people. Keep your head up. Don't be afraid to be laughed at. And like always. Stay wired up. Peace out my people.